just a quick disclaimer I'm about to show you a behind the scenes construction video of the new Rimas campus that I shot at the beginning of January which was almost three months ago but ever since I've been very busy setting up my own company therefore did not have time to edit this video so probably by now the campus is close to completion but it's still a cool sneak peek behind the scenes which enjoy welcome to the second video where we're going to be having exclusive behind the scenes uh, pre-completion of Rimats or Bugatti Rimats campus and Rimats technology and Rimats everything basically it's insane it's an impromptu video because when I did the previous video which was a factory tour Marta said do you want to go to check out campus and I said well yeah obviously and it became so long that it deserved a video of its own because otherwise the previous video would become two hours anyway uh, we are joined by Lobro who will be giving us a behind the scenes tour so unfortunately there are no safety gear available for dogs that's why dogs will stay here together with Maggie but we will go with a tour around the Rimats campus so let's get started this uh -huh. area is called a uh, coal hall as we call it this is side unload for trucks mm -hmm. uh, it, it can fit currently 25 trucks at the same time okay uh, being unloaded uh, additionally to that we have uh, four uh, ramps on this side and four on the other side uh, being that the current warehouse is divided so the concept is Bugatti Rimac is one side yeah. Rimac Tech is the other side okay use each ramps each company nice so we currently have here 17,000 square meters of warehouse space okay which is divided so the new concept is Bugatti Rimac side which is this part here so you can see the high racks these high racks here uh -huh. are for Bugatti Rimac and down there are for Rimac Tech Okay, this is wow. just phase one of Hyrex. We still have four more phases to do. So it's wow. going to be a lot of warehouse. We have usable space of 720 centimeters. We have wow. three main entrances here. Uh, unload ramps, four ramps are there. And mm -hmm. we have four ramps down here. Uh, All right. Two logistics, one is here mm -hmm. and one is down there. So we can divide the whole warehouse in half. Yeah. Uh, incoming quality inspection, which is this room inside here. So when parts come from the supplier, they first come inside here mm -hmm. to check the quality. If they're good, they go into the production. Yeah. Cool. We also have waste management here. So a whole room uh, designated just for waste that we are going to produce inside campus. Cool. Well, that's always a big topic with Mate. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And it should be for everyone as well. Yeah. So you can see four of the ramps down there. Uh huh. All the support functions for the building, so heating, ventilation, AC, are on top, like middle floors. We have middle floors, we mm -hmm. call it mezzanines. We have them throughout the whole building, feeding air, yeah. heating, and ventilation. Cool. It's massive. Like, really, especially if, if you follow it, like the whole growth of Riemanns. I mean, it started in a garage, but then when I started working there in 2020 or 2019, that was 2019, in Smetanedo, yeah, in blue building. And then we had the red building, and then another building was built like, oh, we're so big, we're so big. And then this alone is bigger than everything that was functioning at Rimas three years ago. And crazy. And I know that there were already talks that this is already becoming too small for the current plans. <laughs> Insanity. <laughs> So this behind is also still warehouse, or is it no. actually going so something else now? The building is divided in, let's say, like three zones. Uh -huh. Warehouse, production, and mezzanine. Mm -hmm. Mezzanine is like an office area for employees which are closely bound to production. Mm -hmm. We're going to have additional building, the office building, which is going to be research and development center mm -hmm. as well, which is going to be built next to campus. This is phase after the campus. So okay. Phase, phase five. All right. This is cold, cold storage, as we call it, or battery cell storage. So uh -huh. we're going to have uh, higher production uh, battery systems inside here. All right. Higher volumes. So inside here, we're gonna store uh, cylindrical cells. Okay. So you can see additional uh, safety sprinklers inside each uh, zone, which we will store cylindrical cells in. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. I see. Makes sense. Roughly 9,000 square meters here is battery production, future battery production. So it's wow. Currently. Uh, and this will be just for Mojo. Okay. We are going to have additional room 
upstairs there where we are going to, we are going to have a uh, big Okay, so the modules will be assembled here. They will go through the conveyor to another room, which is up there. To okay. be assembled inside. Crazy. Paint shop. Oh yeah. We are bonding paint shop. We have one CNC machine installed. Already. <laughs> nice. So we have the suspended ceiling here. Uh -huh. so six meters suspended ceiling. On top of the, of the ceiling are all the installations needed for each line. So we can do the preparation, for example, for a welder on a line without stopping the line. The line can continue to work. We can do all the preparation and then just do the vertical connections okay. when the line is not working. Wow. So this is the lower battery assembly that we talked about. Mm -hmm. So 9,000 square meters. And through the suspended ceiling here, we, we don't have walls yet. Yeah. This is the upper battery assembly, which just the back will be assembled. Okay. Wow. And this is the main transport line throughout the whole building, roughly 400 meters. Okay. We build a big atrium for natural sunlight and for employees to have a lounge area as well. Mm. So we're going to have like a big lounge area here as well with little kitchenettes inside these mezzanines. Uh huh. Here. Also, I forget in case of fire and in case of something happening. Yeah. Uh, all the evacuation is done with channels underneath the ground. We're okay. We're going to walk through one later on. Okay. Well. So we have three, three, uh, three uh, channels uh, for fire, in case of fire, for example. Yeah. And we have two more, which are going to be connected later on with the museum, with the office building, and so on. Wow. So uh -huh. we roughly have 400 uh, spaces for employees, seating spaces, on okay. top of this mezzanine here. All right. Wow bigger than before yeah I mean even now check out the previous video where we had the tour through Yankumir facility this is significantly bigger than the other painter and as mentioned also in the previous video Rimats will be hiring 50 technicians for painting and even if you have no qualifications they will still pay for your education within the company and pay you at the same time and you get to work on sick hypercars. And not only on Rimac, but also on Bugatti. This is why it gets here so bigger. Will be exciting to see. So looking forward to seeing it when it's fully operational, but it's nice having the first look at how it looks like now. Completely empty with already so sterile and so professional. Amazing. For future reference, who knows, maybe I'm gonna start my own paint shop in the future. So always good to know what Rimas is using. So we pretty much did a 100% scale up of uh, equipment. Yeah. We have four painting boots, two mixing boxes, and uh -huh. we have eight preparation zones. Okay. In Yankomir we had four preparation zones, two mm -hmm. painting boots, which are gonna stay for special Yes, products. yeah. We have polishing zones here. And these preparation boots are used, so where you're trimming carbon or uh, Grinding it, you're creating like an X atmosphere. Mm -hmm. It's flammable, it's explosive. And with these preparation zones, with these filters, you're securing it to be safe and operational. Mm -hmm. What's this here? This is an office ah. for a coordinator. Of, uh, ah. So it's not built yet. We still are missing some. Yeah. <laughs> the overseer will look at everything yeah. happening around them. Exactly. So here we also have. So four preparation boots on top and three more for gluing. And we have two zone zeros, so where, there, uh, where the lifts are and where the chassis is grinded and all the pins and connectors holders are glued on. Mm -hmm. So this is the part where the first monocoques will be assembled together. Again, this looks 10 times bigger than the facility in Yankumir, which is already big and impressive. But this can chunk out a lots of, lots of cars, I guess, on the well, weekly basis, daily basis, insane. And even more insane to think that there are already thoughts of like, hmm, this is not enough, we need bigger space. So this is CNC area. So and that's the CNC machine. This is one of the CNC machines. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, three bigger ones yeah. here, and in total, I think six or seven on the small machining where the housings yeah. and stuff like that will be machined. Crazy. So, I'm laughing because I would, with CNC machine, I'm thinking like something well, I don't know, maybe like, I would say one-tenth the size of this, what I'm usually seeing. And this is just one of the massive CNC machines. Me for scale. So, out of 
Here. We are still to assemble them. They are coming in a couple of weeks. Ah, okay. They're gonna have three big autoclaves with two okay. and a half diameter, and one small one and one performance oven next to it as well. So this is trimming area. Uh, so when carbon is put out of the autoclaves, it mm -hmm. goes inside here. All the body panels and stuff for trimming inside here. Nice. So the guys here, you can see, are preparing more surface uh -huh. so we have it prepared here they are climbing and they are putting the epoxy here we have okay. a special kind of epoxy which is ESD epoxy uh -huh. so while you are standing on it with special gear you are not grounded okay you are grounded on small voltage and on high voltage we tested up to 8 kilovolts you are okay. not grounded so if you touch a live wire you will not okay. be electrocuted <laughs> nice small things to think about this is also two preparation zones for molding so mold preparation so this room here, as you can see, is the new lamination. Holy so shit! Pretty big. That's like, bigger well, I wouldn't say 100 times, but 50 times bigger at least. Yeah. If not actually 100 times bigger than the previous. So when carbon comes, the cloth. Ah, carbon the cloth. Carbon is cut inside here first, then it goes to lamination, which you see yeah. there. Very and cool. the molds also go to lamination, they prepare it and they put it in mm. the clubs to cook. When it's cooked, it goes out to trimming, then the quality control which we have, that the guys are preparing for the quality control is. And the, well, all is good, it, it's stuff goes out. Yeah, uh, we're back again here. So we also did a project with Hops. Hops is the builder of infrastructure electrical grids. Mm -hmm. We did a uh, trapo station, 110 mm -hmm. kilovolts to 20 kilovolts, uh, from Tumbri to Rakitje trapo station. In total, 40 megawatts of power, 20 for campus and 20 for something else. Mm -hmm. And then we have our internal trapo stations on campus, which are 20 kilovolts to 40 volts in lower. Nice. 400 volts, sorry. Uh -huh. So this will be the main entrance and so-called showroom inside here. Okay. Let's go check out the entrance outside. So you can see the trapo station behind this little bobcat. Mm -hmm. The first tree is planted. Yeah. See the trapo station down there. This is the main entrance here. So employees will walk from the parking lot, which is down there, inside here, which will be the main entrance. Uh -huh. Down here you can see the first preparation for the for the office building, kindergarten and the rest. So the kindergarten will be uh, next here to campus and the office building. You can roughly see how it's gonna look. Crazy! <laughs> That's insane, the size of it. Huh. So we have big atrium inside which we can use for presentation. You can roughly see about 120 people inside. Okay, wow. In a big ramp, uh, uh, which is also a part of the museum. And what's here downstairs? There? Uh, also the museum. So the museum is roughly going all the way to the side of the building down there. Okay. Huh. So this is the gallery that I was talking about. Oh, yeah. And see the shape of the museum here. Crazy. Nice, like, this, like eight. Yeah. This is the customization room. You can see the denivelation here for a turntable. So the car will be presented here. We have VIP entrance, which is roughly down here. It's it's connected to, to the road, which is on the northern side of campus. Mm -hmm. Also, the customization room is upstairs. You will see a big like window cutout. Here. This is vehicle assembly, so bigger than before, bigger than Jankomir, for yeah. sure. <laughs> we have three lines, five stops on each line. Currently we are using, we will use the upper line and the lower line. The middle line will be sub-assembly to feed the parts, to prepare the parts and to feed it onto the car. Hmm. Massive. Also a lot of natural sunlight, so we have a big glass wall here, which looks like to the castle, and we have 150 cupolas on this side, uh, so we brought a lot of sunlight inside the heart of the production building. Nice. Also, all the installations are done. So you have the complex lab here. You have the channels, 
and each connection is on this floor box, for example. Mm -hmm. And you have cassettes, which the lifts are gonna come in. So this is the cassettes for each the lift. So the posts for the uh, for the lifts are underneath the ground, so you you don't have like two posts. Ah, out. okay. So it's all like, Flat. flush. And yeah, leveled. Yeah. Very cool. So quality control or end of line. We have two lifts for reverb here, a big dyno alignment which is down there, and a rain test which is also being rain test for the yeah. for the water. Exactly. And the finished product, so the car will be uh, loaded into the truck here onto the ship plane. Whatever will not go on a private for a racetrack first. Or that. Or that. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Yeah. This is the rain test to be installed. Yeah, I mean, that's what you would expect it to be, a big bathroom. Bathroom tiles. Oh, so much content ideas in here. One of the tunnels is underneath here. Which we're gonna the go emergency tunnel. Exactly. So in case of fire, in case of something happening, the guys will evacuate through here and mm -hmm. to the other side of the building. So the tunnel is connecting the northern part and the southern part. Okay. Very nice. So upstairs. So upstairs here. Oh, already some nice floor. Yeah. We did like one quarter of course already. Here. We have a lot of atriums as well, so natural sunlight. Very nice. And a lot of cupolas. It's, it's similar uh, also, I think similar setup in Rima's technology kind of right now. I think I saw uh, some atriums there, or at least lots of natural light coming in. We wanted to do that in Yankomir. Uh -huh. It was a project that we had to do really fast and mm. really cheap. So yeah. We couldn't do that. Inside here, we provided a lot of natural sunlight. It's pretty much copy and paste throughout the whole this area. Mm. Uh, phone booths, green areas, meeting rooms, and spaces for desks. Yeah. So like an open space, which is divided with phone booths meeting rooms, offices and stuff. Like that. Nice. Okay, so now we're going into the emergency tunnel. Uh -huh. And we have three of those inside the building. All right. We also have three tension bunkers, so-called, uh -huh. which we will keep the rainwater in and water the plants. Okay. As well. That's smart. We have solar power. Uh, yeah, we are planning to have six, six megawatts of solar power on top of the roof as well. This is vehicle proto, so the finished cars are going to be parked here. Mm -hmm. They're going to have lifts, so the cars can park on two levels. Okay. Uh, alignment for uh, proto cars is going to be done here. Detailing as well, so we have kind of rain test, but it's just for cleaning of vehicles. Uh -huh. So will prototype assembly move here as well? This is vehicle proto. Okay, so me and Miro with his team gonna go here. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they have, uh, if I'm not mistaken, four lifts down there, four lifts here, and two special lifts for secret design. So for secret prototypes. Yeah, the the things that we're not allowed to talk on about on camera and stuff and things. But sick. I'm really happy for them because seeing what they're doing now in Svetanelio, like just like a two lift space. What they'll be able to do here, I think prototypes themselves are going to be already like. Hmm. This is the northern part of the campus. Here uh -huh. is the road, the track, which goes around the whole campus. Yeah. So we are building also, the county is building two roundabouts. One is down here where the main entrance is, where you came in, mm -hmm. and the other one is on the turn of Stupnik up there, which will okay. be the main entrance for employees and visitors. All right. So we are currently standing right here. This is the whole campus layout. Uh -huh. uh, we started from the warehouse, we moved to the battery assembly, went up, went to paint shop, went to bonding, to the entrance, to the museum, vehicle assembly, and up and down. Yeah. Outside. And that's the office building that's being built, right? Exactly. With yeah. kindergarten and exactly. And restaurant and hotel yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah, so the campus is divided in six phases. So we have the production building. So this is one of the first models that three LHD uh, submitted. Uh, it's changed a bit. 
So the, the, this building changed a bit and this building changed a bit, but this is the production building. Uh, currently phase two is completion of the production building. Phase three is the interior design of the museum here, which you will be able to better see here. Yeah, this like round thing that we exactly. saw. Yeah. Uh, phase four is the kindergarten, which is underneath here, and the restaurant, uh -huh. which is connecting let's say these two buildings, the production and the research and development building. Phase five is this building uh, and phase six is the big lake. Okay, here. with sheep. Yeah, and sheep sheeps will be here actually. You can see it here on this render here. So you can ah. see the sheep. <laughs> I remember last, last time we had a factory tour with Mate, he said that accounting is having like big difficulties <laughs> of uh, like having sheep as a business asset in a technology company, like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Oh, yeah, and that's the solar uh, panels everywhere yeah. on top of what mentioned. We won't be able to do the whole roof with solar panels, but I would say like 70% of the roof. Will Still be good enough. Still good enough. Amazing. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Crazy. Well, thank you very much for the tour. Yeah, I guess that's no it. Worries, no worries. Amazing. Thank you. Thank for you. Coming also. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Fascinated. I'm looking forward to seeing this in its completion. Well, you said in March it should be like the, the phase two should be start the production. Yeah. Oh, already. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. So uh, two more. Well, two more months roughly. So next time I'll be here, we'll show you actually the finished facilities, and hopefully, as mentioned, we'll want to be organizing like tours in Croatia. Maybe we'll get take you guys along but for that say tune subscribe like and share etc 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 you know what to do and yeah looking forward to coming back here so thanks for watching bye